Mogadishu has been the target of many Al-Shabaab attacks, but not today. It's not known whether the capital was the intended target of more Al-Shabaab attacks, but the Pentagon says it prevented a major Al-Shabaab offensive by using drones and other aircraft to attack an Al-Shabaab training camp. The fighters uh, who were scheduled to depart the camp pose an imminent threat uh, to U.S. and African Union mission um, forces in Somalia. Uh, their removal, the removal of those terrorist fighters, degrades Al-Shabaab's ability to meet the group's objectives in Somalia. The Raso camp is around 120 kilometers north of the capital, Mogadishu, a relatively remote location to try to escape constant surveillance by U.S. aircraft. That doesn't appear to have worked. The Pentagon says the camp has been monitored for weeks and surveillance indicated a major attack was being planned. Al-Shabaab confirmed in a phone conversation to Al Jazeera that there had been an attack on its training camp. It said the U.S. figure of more than 150 deaths was exaggerated. In a statement, the Somali government told Al Jazeera it welcomed the precision drone attack on the Shabaab base in collaboration with the Somali National Army. It said the attack would severely minimize the threat of Shabaab. But the U.S. military strategy is not without controversy. So on one hand, uh, military leaders primarily and government authorities would say this allows us to attack leadership targets that will eventually cause the downfall of these organizations. On the other hand, some would say that there's very little evidence that cutting off the head of the snake uh, causes the collapse of these organizations, that in fact they're able to replicate leaders very, very quick and replace them. And so in fact, the efficiency of the drone strikes doesn't really bear out in the long run. Al-Shabaab is an armed group with links to Al-Qaeda fighting to overthrow the Somali government. In just the last year, Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for at least four major attacks. The most recent on a restaurant in Baidoa killing at least 30 people. Six people were wounded on Monday when a bomb hidden in a laptop exploded at a small airport in the town of Beledwene, more than 300 kilometers north of Mogadishu. A month earlier, Al-Shabaab claimed responsibility for a similar bomb attack on a Dalo airline aircraft. A UN Security Council arms embargo has long been in place to stop weapons getting into Somalia. The Australian Navy, which is part of an international force, says rocket propelled grenades, rifles and machine guns were found off the coast of Oman last week in a fishing vessel apparently bound for Somalia. With relative peace in the capital Mogadishu and across Somalia, constant surveillance at sea and on land does appear to be restricting Al-Shabaab operations. But there is no indication their war will be over soon. Hamza Mohammed, Al Jazeera, Mogadishu, Somalia.